Sport is superstition, science, family, drama, love, theatre. It's everything. That's why we've made a betting brand for sports fans. That's better. Gamble responsibly. Buckle up, folks. We are going to rank the NBA scoring machines as we welcome back our man Carlos Boozer for the first time in 2023. Welcome, Carlos. Guys, nice. happy new year. Good to be back. Good to see you guys. You guys look sharp. We look sharp. James, uh, he got some sun over the summer, so he's actually got a tan over here at the moment, Carlos. But we're going to get straight into it. We want to get to the bottom of this scoring boom. We're talking Donovan Mitchell dropping 71 points, Lucas 60 points and 20 boards in a history-making triple-double, Giannis with 55 points and Clay Thompson with 54. How and why, Carlos, are these guys blowing up the scoreboard? I mean, they're studs. I mean, the game has evolved so much since when I played. Everybody can do so many different things. They're so versatile. You look at Joel Embiid, he's a big guy, seven foot two, got post moves, but he can shoot the three very well as well. He's got great footwork on the block. You look at a guy like Giannis, can do a little bit of everything. His, his jump shooting is getting better and better. Luca is one of the most complete guys that we've seen. He can score at will, make shots from all over the place. He can assist and create shots for his teammates. And he can rebound the ball at, you know, he's 6'7", six, 6'8", six, plays the point guard position. You see a guy like Donovan Mitchell just get hot. He's been scorching, can shoot the ball from anywhere, got a big frame for his 6'4 size, super athletic. The skill set of these guys has gotten better and better and better. And I can't wait to see where it goes in the next 20 years. That's awesome, Carlos, because it like, makes me obviously talking to you instantly think about when you were playing like basketball has very clearly evolved to like an all-out sort of offensive game is that going to be basically a conducive way for watching basketball do you think this is like a fun way of playing basketball do you prefer like the way that it maybe used to be when you were in there dropping in your nice little 17 footers dumping off the joke game noah that sort of good stuff <laughs> <laughs> this this is the question that all millennials ask us OG vet guys, like which style of basketball do you prefer? I get this question so much. And this is my response. I, I miss some of the old back to the basket guys, the, the Shaquille O'Neal's and the Akeem Olajuwon's and those dominant centers that we had back in the 90s and 2000s. But I can't deny how awesome it is to see a guy that's seven feet that can handle the ball and bring it up like a point guard like Kevin Durant or Giannis Antetokounmpo or Joel Embiid. These guys, I mean, look at look at what the Joker's doing down in, in Denver. Like he's maybe one of the best passers we've seen, maybe the best big man passer of all time. And we're seeing it right now live today. So I, I love where the game has gone. I think the guys are so skilled. Guys are so dynamic. They can do so much in the air. I think there's better athletes now. Um, I think the game is in very good hands. We got some real awesome players. Obviously, we still have LeBron and we got Kevin Durant, but we got new guys like Ja Morant and Luka Doncic and Jason Tatum is emerging. We got the game is in really good hands. So I'm excited to see where it goes. Okay, it's time to rank the best three scorers in the competition. Carlos, who do you pick and why? I got Luca at the top. You know, I think just his ability to score at will, clutch in the fourth quarter, uh, makes his free throws, shoots a high clip, and really puts that Dallas team on his back. I think the Greek freak has got to be up there because he's the most dominant guy we got in the game. Nobody can stop him, especially when he's coming at you with a full head of steam. He reminds me of like a LeBron, but he's a little bit taller. And then you, you, got, you got to think of a guy like, who's number three? I'm going to be honest. Joel Embiid's got to be on that list. I mean, he's 7-2 and he's unguardable. I mean, he, I, the first game back last night, he put up 34. He's got a great touch, knocks his free throws down. You can't foul him. He can shoot the three. He's got all the footwork and all the fancy step backs. I think those three, Luka Doncic, Greek Freak, and Joel Embiid for me. Well, Joel Embiid uh, was your MVP off our very first show. That was Carlos' third pick. What are your top three? Well... Ben, I'm going to say that my three can hurt you inside and out, just like my teenage girlfriend. I'll tell you what, he, uh, <laughs> my high school life was a bit difficult. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Luca has got to be the clear number one. I think he, the way he can do pretty much anything on the floor, like his drives, he has the second most drives per game. He, he's hitting the threes up from last year. He's at 35.5% this year. 50% 50 from the floor. He's averaging 30 points, 34 points a game. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, he basically is in the top four of if you have an expected points per shot attempt 
He's basically top four in the entire NBA. Uh, he uses that size and that weird speed just to somehow get around dudes. It's absolutely fascinating. He's not fast, he's not slow. <laughs> He's like, he's got those crafty Euro vibes. We've called him the Slovenian Andrew Gaze for a reason there. <laughs> uh, but my other two, I'm going to go slightly outside of Carlos. Like, Embiid is incredible. He's averaging 33.6 at the moment. Absolutely incredible. So is Giannis, 31. But Steph. Steph Curry, he changed the game. He's just an absolute pure scorer. There's no one more scary on a basketball court when they're absolutely in, in fuego if they're hot. Steph's still the guy. He's still absolutely incredible. 30 points a game. He's been out with the injury. He comes back. Once he, you know, cranks it back up, he'll be insane. 43.5% from three. Uh, his effective field goal percentage is over 62.5%. For a dude that's his size, that is absolutely insane. It means he's shooting and also driving. And that's the key thing when it comes to Steph. He's also in the paint. And he doesn't miss when he's in the paint. His ability to sort of twist his body and hit those insane layups is just like nothing we've ever seen before. He shoots 80% basically in the paint. That is absolutely chaos for a dude his size. And the other one's going to be the most pure scorer in the NBA, basically NBA history. Kevin Durant, the Slim Reaper. I love him. <laughs> Almost 30 points a game. 56% from the floor. But the thing is, he is literally hitting mid-range shots at a historic rate at the moment. No one's doing it better than KD. He gets hurt. But seriously, no one's shot more than the sort of mid-range jump shots that he's taken this season more accurately, literally in the history of the game. Like, it's absolutely incredible what he's been doing. He's taken more, he's made and taken more mid-range jump shots than 13 teams in the NBA this year. Teams, Dicko. Wow. That's how good KD's been. He was in, basically an MVP favorite before he gets hurt. He might be the most pure scorer in the history of the game. There's nothing he can't do. Uh, he doesn't quite do that sort of, you know, the 71 point Donovan Mitchell explosion, but there's nothing he can't do on a basketball court. Look, SGA, Donnie Mitchell, they're all really good, but there's my three, Lucas, Steph, and KD. Expect a call from your high school girlfriend too, who's watching. She didn't realise she scarred <laughs> you so much over the years. All right, Carlos, does the ability to score quickly mean that any team can win from anywhere, anytime? That's a good question. I think being able to score quickly is, is a luxury to have. You see Golden State do it. You remember the old school teams with Steve Nash used to score or get shots up uh, with seven seconds off the clock. Um, I, I think it is a luxury to be able to do that, but come playoff time, we all know it, it slows down. It becomes a half court game, more and more fast break points, they're less every playoff game. So I think being able to score fast will help you win, but you gotta be able to execute in the half court. All right, may these guys continue to shoot the lights out. Stick with us, folks, because it's time for Carlos and James to go head to head. The betting brand for sports fans. That's better. Gamble responsibly.